Hey y'all, what's going on? It's your girl, Maya Desire. And let me tell you, I'm back with another review from Big Go Belt Media. Now, I have the, the pleasure of reviewing Queen's Court that's hosted by Holly Robinson P and her husband, Rodney P. They've been married for 25 years and we have our three queens, Nivea, who used to be married to The Dream, uh, Evelyn Lozada, who used to be married to Chad Ocosinco, and uh, Tamar Braxton, who used to be married to Vince Herbert. Now, these ladies are looking for love. And ironically enough, this show is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now, let me make it clear. It's not that I thought this show was gonna be bad. It's that I feel like all dating shows are so like forced and scripted and doing the most and everybody is there for clout. But of course, these women are celebrities. They have been in public relationships for some odd years. And now they are ready after being divorced to look for love again. Now, as somebody who's over 35 dating, I'm looking at them and I'm like, wow, you got your girl Tamar Braxton, who is very much in the spiritual world of like, you know, she need her man to be a certain kind of way, you know, checking them on the touches and all that other jazz. Nivea is very sexually free and she's like, I'm trying to see what that mouth do. And of course we have Evelyn who you can tell she's learned a few things from her marriage um, and previous relationships and she's ready to, to just embark on a whole new uh, journey in the right way and with the right person. Now, watching this show, I definitely felt there was a lot more uh, authenticity and gen genuine listen genuinity okay um it was just genuine <laughs> let's just do that because i'm trying to get this word right and it's not happening but it was genuine you could tell that they were asking real questions um they were just really making sure to get down to the nitty gritty and not in a way that was overbearing or aggressive but it was really just asking what they needed to know and what they wanted to know without it being sugar-coated and feeling as if they were you know, doing the most, I'll say. Um, so we watched them go on multiple dates. They start off with four, no, they start off with eight men and they end up having to eliminate men as they go down. They have to go on like two dates at a time. So it's very interesting because in the real world, you would not have this opportunity to date multiple men. Like you wouldn't have one date with like four guys and they're actually having one date with three men so you get to see the personalities you know the jealousy the competitiveness but i really do think that some of these men are very authentic of course you have those who are extremely fan um they're having a moment because they're they're seeing somebody who's of celebrity status so they're being a fan and you have other ones who try to overcompensate by acting very nonchalant i think that watching this show has allowed me to see things that i myself need to ask um and questions that uh i think are very important that i didn't even think of and also just really giving me hope to think that wow there is somebody out there for me and maybe i do need to date three men at the same time child i don't know but either way i'm just gonna say that it's a great show i haven't watched the last episode so i don't know what's going to happen i'm waiting for you all to get it so that you can watch it um so i can watch it with you but I do think that it's a really good show. Like, despite all of the dating shows that I've seen out there, I really like this one. So I'm excited to see your thoughts and hear what it is that you want to say. Um, it is going to be a Peacock original, so it will be out soon. Um, and you know what? I do not have the date for that, but I will get it to you. <laughs> so... Tell me your thoughts. What are you thinking? Who do you like? Who do you not like? And what couple are you wanting to see move on from here? Until next time, y'all, it's your girl, Amaya Desire. And don't forget to check out our channel because I definitely got to interview the queens and they were so much fun. So let me know what you think and I'll see you later. Peace.